Hey, what is going on guys? It's Connor here from Mangutox. In today's video, we're going to be looking at a ban command as well as a soft ban command. Why are we doing two commands? Because soft ban and ban literally have the smallest difference between the two. Obviously, soft ban means that you ban the person for X amount of time to delete messages and it also unbans them straight after that. So, let's get straight into this. We're going to go in here and we're going to create a new file. We're going to call it ban.js. Now, once we're in this file, obviously, we want all the normal stuff. So, I'm just going to drag this over. We're going to close it and then we're going to do module.export.config. And then, obviously, name. Um, actually, it's, do we? Yes, we have. It's been a while since I've recorded a video. So, it's gonna take a minute for me to get back with the bearings obviously there's gonna be some aliases we're gonna do B we can do banish we can do remove uh, bans a user from the guild uh, obviously the usage will be ban and then accessible by I guess we can just say admin is straight tours right so we've got this in place now. We're simply gonna start off with checking if the user has a permission. So we need to check if they have an array of permissions, if they have ban users or they have admin. Obviously admin comes with all the perms anyways, but we also wanna check just in case, obviously the, the staff members don't have administrator, we wanna check if they have ban members. So we're gonna start with if uh, message dot member member is obviously a uh, guild member um, object Jesus Christ it's been a while has permission and then we're gonna create an array we're gonna check for ban underscore members as well as admin is straight or right now if the person has this or oh, sorry now if the person doesn't have this we're gonna return a message and it's just gonna it's gonna say message channel to send you do not have permission Jesus permission to um, do this command we'll just do that or we can do to perform sounds more professional bam there you go now the le next thing we're gonna do is obviously as well as the mute command, we check if the user is um, obviously mentioned or they have this. So we can just grab this, we'll grab that, and then we'll do let ban member equal. Uh, I think we grabbed the equals. So we're going to equal a guild member um, mention or we're going to check an ID. Now, obviously, if they don't have that, we're going to return message. Sorry, hold up. We are missing some ammo. Oh, obviously, yeah should be if <laughs> if there isn't a ban member we're gonna return message dot channel dot send um, Jesus Christ I'm gonna, please mention a oh, sorry not mention please provide a user to ban right now that we have that we obviously want to check for a reason um, so let reason equal uh, we're just going to do args slice one and then we're going to dot join the arguments with a space in between then if uh, if there is no reason which um, hopefully people provide reasons we're going to let reason equal um, no reason given right now that we've got the main basis set up we have the bot obviously checking if the user that wants to perform the command has ban members or admin and then we're going to check if there is obviously someone mentioned or there is an ID provided and now we're checking if um, obviously there is a reason. Now <laughs> what we want to do is we also want to check if the bot has permission to be able to perform this command because otherwise it will error. So we're going to check if dot me which is obviously the bot has permission sorry has permission um to also we can just grab it from up here has these permissions right here because we want to make sure the bot has permission to ban and also if they don't have that have administrator which also comes with ban members 
Now, if they don't have that, um, which we check right here, we can do return, if I can type correctly, return message.channel.send, the bot, uh, or I can just do, um, I don't have permission to perform this command. Right, if we can spell correctly, there we go. Now that we've done all that, what I like to do is we can also message delete, which deletes the, um, the user's original uh, call message. And why do I do this? So that obviously if the person does have permission and all this information has been provided, it will delete the message and then it will also perform the command. It just makes sure that everything is a little bit clean. Now that we have done that, we're going to check if the, um, sorry, we are going to, I wonder, do we, do we message the person? Uh, muti.send, yes we do, okay, so we can do that here, we can obviously go up here, go all the way to the end, we can do dot send, and then we can send a message, we can go hello, uh, actually it's probably better if we do backticks, because we're gonna add some information in here, hello, you have been, um, banned, obviously from, and then we're gonna add these bad boys in, and we're gonna say message dot guild, dot name because name is a property of guild and then for and then we're going to add reason now we don't want to add who they got banned by because obviously that opens people to go dm them and harass them and stuff like that and we don't want that obviously so now that we've done that we want to do dot then because obviously if a user is banned the bot will not be able to um message them so we want to message the person first and then we obviously want to do message dot guild dot ban, which I think I have the documentations open. We can look at ban and then it should give us a, yep, we can guild dot ban. We got days and we're just going to put in one. So it deletes 24 hours worth of messages. You can change that obviously. And then we're going to have a reason in there. Now, the reason will display in the audit logs, which a lot of people like. Um, so we're going to do Ben and then we're going to add some options in here. So we're going to do days one um, And then we add a comma don't forget the comma where it will error and then we're going to do reason reason Right, so that should do that and then just in case there is an error We're going to catch that and then we're gonna obviously run the error console.log error right now uh, we want to just Sorry, this should be right here. We want to put that extra one there because otherwise it will Be stupid now after we have done that we want to add another space We should probably add a space here because uh, that's obviously the whole ban method here We're gonna do message dot channel dot send and then we're gonna say We're gonna put some back ticks in there. I'm gonna say ban member dot user dot username because we have to convert the guild member back to a user to be able to grab the username or you could put display name either one but obviously this is a better ting um has been um been banned now actually i'm going to change this i'm going to change that to tag so it shows their username plus the discriminator and also i'm going to bold it because you know i'm feeling groovy today kids now Next thing I'm going to do is we're going to create an embed, which obviously we have done a lot. Embeds are amazing and a lot of people should use them. So we're going to set the color. Actually, I'm pretty sure we have the whole uh, guild thing here. Yes, we do. So we can just grab this. And uh, obviously, if you want to look at it, you can pause the video. Now we're going to do, I'm just going to increment it a little bit. Now, colors dot red light is okay we're gonna mod logs we're gonna change this to ban uh we're gonna change this one right here to ban member to the ban member object and then we're gonna message author which is that person the reason as well as when it was created right and then the send channel is xxx right now that should be it that is pretty much it, and I don't have someone to test this on, which is a sad thing. Um, I might just ban some random person, just for the fun of it. Um, but obviously, we need to run the bot before we can do anything, so I'll do that. Alright, let's have a looky. You wanna just run? 
Right, so now that the bot is running, um, I'm just gonna check a few things. So we wanna do ban, huh? Did I do something wrong here? Oh, sorry. <laughs> it should be if there isn't a ban member pro um, provided. Right. I found out the issue. Um, obviously someone else, uh, I think it's this bot right here, has a uh, the prefix exclamation mark, which is really annoying. Thank you. Um, but yeah, I've, I fixed it. Right, now, none of the code was incorrect. I just had a little bit of an issue because there was another bot in the thing that had the prefix exclamation mark. I should probably change that to uh, MD something, at, at some rather at some point. Now, obviously, if we don't provide a ban member, it's going to say, please provide a user. Uh, we can do at ban. And then we're going to grab someone's ID real quick. Um, it's going to be someone that doesn't really talk. You can use this person here, um, actually. Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll just use this person, whatever. And then um, we are gonna go into testing and do exclamation mark, exclamation mark, ban. We're gonna ban that user and we're also gonna provide the reason test. And now is that gonna do that? It's gonna do that, it's gonna provide this for us and then it's gonna say the user left. Righto, I should probably message that user telling them that they've been banned. Um, I'll do that in a second. But yeah, that is everything. That looks good. Now we're going to get over into the soft ban. So I'll get you guys ready. We're going to, we're actually just going to copy this. So we're going to do, uh, we're going to go into the commands. We're going to copy this. We're going to paste it. And then we're going to change this name to obviously soft ban. Now, when we go back in here, soft ban should be right here. And then obviously we're going to change the points like this soft ban, soft ban. Bam, soft, soft bands, a user from the guild. And then we should probably change this to S, S, and then S remove, soft remove. Now, obviously it's gonna change the slightest bit, and I mean literally the slightest. We're gonna add a dot then right here as well. And then we're obviously arrow function, that arrow function. And then we're gonna add in here, message dot guild dot unban and then we're going to do obviously ban member dot id now you can now in this case we've mentioned a user so we want to grab their id obviously so we want to unban them via id and then obviously if we bring this back up we can look at unban i think it's it's unbans around here somewhere but we're just going to go up to the top and quickly look at unban guild unban and you can also provide a reason. Yep, you can provide a reason. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna, ch except this time, we're gonna have the reason as, um, obviously in quotes, as a soft ban. Um, yeah. So that should be it. We should be done here. And that is soft ban. It's literally the simplest thing. You just add the unban part to it. Um, but yeah. Obviously, we've just checked that the band works, and obviously the band works correctly. Soft band should always also work. I use this exact method in Strafium, so it, it should work. It, it's literally ban and then unban, and so ban by mention or ID, and then unban by ID, which is pretty simple stuff. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I apologize for the simple interruption with obviously this. I don't know why why there is another bot with an exclamation mark. Oh my god, it's the most unique thing. Um, but I'll catch you guys in the next episode. We're going to be looking at a kick. Now, obviously, kick is a little bit different to ban. It's a, um, a non-permanent sitch. So, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.